looking at Winslow Homer's The Fog Warning from 1885, and that rowboat is tipped all the way forward. That swell that the boat is riding on is high, and he's about to go back down. The art world. Glamour. Wealth. Intrigue. Every picture tells its own story. And it's up to us to try and uncover it. Tony Varney was the lucky fisherman who found that bundle of pictures 20 years ago. Most interesting. Have you actually reflected on what's written in the bottom right-hand corner? Winslow, Homer. And Winslow Homer is about the most important watercolorist at work in America in the 19th century. Yeah. He's one of the great artists who define American art heritage. Bingo! <laughs> A rubbish tip find took Tony and his daughter Selena halfway around the world, but no one could have predicted how it would end. Just before the sale, a major problem emerges. What this whole episode has shown me is that no matter how much due diligence you do, at the last minute, someone, somewhere, can come out of nowhere and say, this painting is mine, and there's nothing you can do to prevent that happening. This is a painting where we see the protagonist, this fisherman, assessing his situation, and we assess it along with him. If any painter has captured the rugged beauty of Maine's coast, the thrilling play of water and light against rock, it has to be Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer was born in Boston in 1836. His father was a businessman, his mother a watercolorist. Homer got his start as a combat artist, working for Harper's Weekly during the Civil War. Before he settled in Maine, Homer lived and worked in New York and studied in Europe, too. But his work was always distinctly American. But it was the coast of Maine, where Winslow Homer moved in his late 40s, that transformed him into the artist we know today.